Today, I'm gonna be recreating this modern townhouse in Bloxburg. It's been a minute, it's been a minute since I don't build, but I'm so excited. I'm finally on summer vacations and I'm so excited to be back. So yeah, let's get right into building this. Okay, so here we have kind of like a more clear view of the house. I'm so shocked by the contrast of styles between both of the of the houses on the sides like this is a literal suburban house and then this is kind of like a townhouse what is this neighborhood but yeah as you can see we don't have a lot of interior pics actually no interior pics we can kind of see that there is a bedroom over here i think i'm gonna be basing off the layout of the house from that part it's not gonna be a huge house it's not gonna be a huge house which i like i like this house being kind of small and cozy plus i love the style i saw that in this house on pinterest i was like i need to build this it's so cute yeah, I think I'm gonna be focusing on doing kind of like a very small house. I actually like this kind of houses a lot, kind of like townhouses, because they feel so realistic to me. They feel so, so realistic to me and they're so cute. They're cozy, they're kind of small and tiny. Okay, I'm gonna drag this roof a bit, just a tiny bit. And then I think there's kind of like a fence over here. This fence is gonna be colored differently from the other walls. I think I made this part a bit big. But it's fine, I mean, the scales are gonna be off by a lot. This garage door kinda looks like the image. Wait, maybe I should shrink this part more. I, I feel like I should shrink it. Do it only three wide, kind of like this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it actually kinda does look more like the image this way. Now this window, I'm wondering how we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna have to be using a lot of different types of windows. So let's say this is gonna be the first window I'm gonna be placing. I'm gonna resize this and make it a bit, a bit skinnier. And I'm also gonna be using which one? I should use this one. Can you resize this one? Oh yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, so then there's like a long window, kind of like a skinny and long, like tall window, like this one. Oh my god, I think that's actually kind of perfect. We have a very, very small window over here. It's another part of this window, so I'm gonna be resizing the same window. Oh, wait, I can't. Can't resize it anymore, so I'm gonna be using this one. Also, gonna be doing it kind of like this, kind of like a very small square. In real life, this is actually only one window, but since we don't have any windows that look like that, we gotta be building it by ourselves. So yeah, it's kind of tedious to be placing every single piece of, of this window. But I mean, the end result is going to look really cute. Once everything is placed together, I think it's going to look really fine. Kind of like that. Let's make this one a bit taller. Oh, wait, so that... I think it kind of does look like the image. It's not going to be perfect, obviously. But let's color this. And yeah, that is not that bad. I was thinking if I can resize this window a bit more because i do feel like this window looks extremely extremely skinny oh that's better that's way better and then there is another window right here in the middle but it's a bit bit bigger so kind of like this and let's make this a bit taller yeah okay that looks like it i'm gonna try and fit two bedrooms in this house i always like to maximize kind of like the space on my houses even if it's a recreation okay they're using kind of like really nice textures on the outside it's kind of like this gray but i'm gonna tone it down i gotta definitely tone it down okay it's kind of like this i think nearly perfection on the color and then th we're gonna have a bit of a problem over here because we don't have a texture like that brick they are using so as you can see it's kind of like long tiles it's not that much of a brick it's kind of like yeah like planks almost so i think i'm gonna be using the regular brick could be a nice idea and then over here they're using some of these planks they actually look like these it's all gonna come together. Don't worry, it's gonna look fine. The back though, the back. <laughs> it's gonna happen with the back, I have no idea. I'm gonna be putting on some last details, kind of like this small trim that this fence has, kind of like the lights and the pathway. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, for that part, I think I'm gonna be doing some structurals. This very small structurals, kind of like, oh, okay, we need a bigger one. And we also need some of these saucer lights. The lining on the image looks like the linen lining we have in the game. I just don't know if I'm gonna be using linen lining for this house. Or maybe we should do cloudy gray light. Oh uh, yeah, that, that's a bit better. I mean, for the purpose of a Bloxburg house, I think that kind of lining is way better. We have literally the same door they're using on, on the on the, uh, on the the real house. We have it on the game. Why, when you put a texture on this, on this garage door, why does it look like that? 
It looks like the textures on top of the actual garage door. I don't know how to explain it, but can you see these little squares? They don't blend with, with the texture, which I hate how that looks, but it's fine, it's fine. Let's leave it like that. Now for this pathway, they're using, yet again, the brick texture. But I don't know if it's a good idea for us to do that. So I think I'm gonna be using some concrete. Gonna be coloring it kind of like mid gray. Because yeah, I don't know if it's gonna look good here in Bloxburg to have that many textures. I mean, in real life, you can barely see the kind of multiple textures in the house. Now, last but not least, there are... They have these trees. We do have bear and dead trees on, on the game, but it's nothing like this. No, what can I do for that? Oh, I didn't think that through when I saw the image. Maybe you can do these tomato plants. Oh, you can't resize them though. No, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do the trees. We should have more skinnier and smaller trees, definitely. Okay, I'll come back to that situation later. Let's just figure out what we're gonna do with the interior now. It's just gonna be up to us. We're not gonna have any help from the image or nothing because we don't have any interior images. So I'm obviously gonna be doing this lovely texture that I... Then the garage is gonna be small. The garage is gonna be very small. Oh, I don't think we can fit two bedrooms in this house. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna be possible. So here's gonna be the main bedroom that we do have on the image. And as you can see, there's a door over here which i think leads to a bedroom would make a lot of sense if it did so let's do kind of like this bedroom and we can take advantage of this space and put on some stairs because i think i'm gonna be placing the stairs over there oh we can do kind of like a very small double header room that would look so nice plus it's open it opens up all the space in this house yeah having this kind of kind of room and we can also do these windows again we can do three of them just so we get a lot of natural light on this house and i think i'm gonna be doing the kitchen over here it would be a good idea wait can i turn this and oh, wait i have an idea what if we turned the garage into a bedroom like on the movies and the typical movies where you see that garages are turned into bedrooms that would be kind of like a good idea it would be kind of cool oh this kitchen is gonna be tiny Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of these. Oh, these cooktops. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. Now, I like how symmetrical and long it is. Okay, so yeah, let's figure out what we're gonna do with the kitchen first. Because I, I feel like kitchens are one of the most important parts of the house, if not the most important. Can I resize this hood? Oh, okay, I, I can. I just don't want to resize it this way. I wanted it to look more skinnier. So I think think I'm gonna be using I mean I do like this one it's just that this hood to be a lot more smaller oh, yeah let's let's do this one and we can do some cabinets we can do some cabinets as well oh what if we do these I know that looks so weird nah it's not a good idea never mind it sounded better in my head where am I gonna put a TV maybe I'm gonna do the living room upstairs because we don't have oh what if we also do this bathroom kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom since it's gonna be the only bathroom in the house. Let's at least have two doors for it. Yeah, and we can do a bit of a dining table. I think it being on the wall, it's nice and it frees up a lot of a lot of this hallway. I just don't know which table we have to use to make this look nice. Oh, wait, what? I've never seen this table before, I swear. I've never seen this table. And we can do these chairs, which are small and sleek. They don't take up a lot of space. Let's also use this door again for the back. We can also bring that color we're using on the outside. Uh, how should I paint this table? I always struggle. Wait, that kind of looks good. Okay, we can do that color. But yeah, I usually struggle with the color of the tables specifically. I have no idea on why I do that, but okay, that looks nice. It looks so cozy. I'm loving this house. I, I'm loving how minimalistic it is. I feel like for a space this small, we should have clear spaces, you know? Or else it's gonna look really cramped and bad. The cabinets, well, the upper cabinets can be that blue as well. Wait, maybe I shouldn't do curtain. Like the vital things in this kitchen, which is a sink. We definitely need a sink. And I'm also gonna do a microwave. I feel like a microwave is really helpful. So let's do this one. Even though the other micro, we have a more realistic microwave. This one's my favorite. This one has got to be my favorite. So small and nice. It's, it's so simple. Yeah, okay. So we have, now let's move on to the, I think I'm gonna do this room. It's so small and tiny, but I mean, it's the same. Oh, this room's actually bigger. 
Yeah, it's kind of tiny, but let's do it anyway. Let's do this room. I love this bed. I've been using this bed a lot lately. Ooh, that black frame looks so nice. Okay, we need also a nightstand. Let's do a bit of a rug. Let's do a rug right here in the middle. If I was not recreating this house, I would probably change the door, the garage door for some windows. That would make a lot of sense. I mean, that would make more sense. We also need need a dresser. Oh, should I do a locker? I know that's so weird, but it's skinny. I think this is the skinniest dresser we have. And you can actually come here and change. So that, that, that does work, which is what we're looking for. So yeah, let's do that locker. Oh, let's do some really cute fairy lights. I'm also going to do kind of like a collage of some, some paintings. This is definitely got to be like a teen's room. This space is lacking so much. I mean, it's not lacking anything. It's just that there is not a living room on this downstairs. So it, it does look kind of weird not having a living room over there. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine because we're going to have it upstairs. Okay, now let's see. We definitely need kind of like a desk zone. So I'm going to put it under the stairs. That looks so nice and cozy. Okay, we should probably do kind of like a stool instead of a chair. Just so it doesn't look that cramped. I wish I could live in a house like this one. Tiny and small. Okay, now let's see what we're gonna do for the upstairs. We can definitely have the TV right here in the middle. Kinda. Let's do a wall TV. The problem is, I think a couch is not gonna fit here. No, it definitely does. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining things. It definitely does fit right there in the middle. Oh, what if we do... A bit of a bench under under this window. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we definitely need a bent. So let's do it over here. I don't know why, but bents have become so important to me on a house. I feel like without bents, you wouldn't have any oxygen. Do a bit of plant and some magazines on this table. We have these new fitness magazines. By the way, what, what do you think about the new update? We had a pretty nice kind of like gym update fitness update and on my opinion i think it's the best update they've given us up to this date maybe not because of all the items they gave us which obviously that's so important on an update functionality wise we have a lot of new features such as the skills being all kind of remodeled and also the new gym they haven't given us any update like this one before so i think that's why it's the best up to this date just imagine what they'll be giving us on i don't know future updates it's gotta be so crazy okay so the living space is done let's move on to the bathroom i want to put a shower on this space like an actual shower or maybe we can do i feel like the shower makes more sense it's kind of like more hen so let's do the shower over there. Let's do a toilet and we also need a sink. It's a really weirdly laid out bathroom. Oh, we have this new mirror that fits there perfectly. Let's also do some, some of these towel hangers. Oh, look at these towels. Okay, and last but not least, we need to figure out how we're gonna do this bedroom space. So on the image, the bed is facing this way. It's kind of like this. So from the beginning, we're given this idea of how the bedroom's gonna be laid out. It's gonna be easier for us to do this. Yeah, so you can see it has a few pillows. I'm seeing a gray pillow over there. So let's also do that kind of bedding on this one. Okay, some last details, such as some plants. Oh, I didn't paint the walls of this room. I was like, yeah, that this room looks weird, but it was because there is no color on the on the walls. I'm gonna be reusing these lockers again. I know it's so weird, but in a way, I like these lockers. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call this house a day. Let me give you a tour of it. Oh wait, we forgot about the trees on the front. I think I'm gonna be doing these. I know it's nothing like the image, but in a way they remind me of, of those trees. I don't know why, but they do. They just simply do. Okay, yeah, that, that doesn't look half bad. We're definitely done with this house. Let me give you a tour. So here's a house. It's a very simple house. But at the end, I really like the textures and the windows and everything. As you can see, the garage I turned into a into a bedroom, into an actual bedroom. Just so weird, but I mean, in Bloxburg, it, it's kind of cool. And here we have the the lounge. We have a very nice dining table, the kitchen, which is so compact and nice. And here we have a desk space, the door for the backyard, and we have this double heated room over here which leads into the living room. The living room, again, it's a really nice space, simple. Here we have the bathroom. We have everything that we need, such as a shower, a toilet, a sink. And last but not least, we have the master bedroom. This house overall, I think it makes a lot of sense. 